In the 35th episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about Noctua and their latest fully passive CPU cooler, Nvidia cutting the fabrication of the RTX 20 series graphics cards to focus on the RTX 30 series, Windows 10 to lose its support by 2025 ahead of the Windows 11 launch, and EK Waterblocks unveils another graphics card Waterblock. We start with the darling of the tech industry Noctua and their latest CPU cooler, a CPU cooler which has been seen before at events. This is the NHP1 and it is a fully passive CPU cooler which can work on its own or with the latest fan released, the Noctua LS PWM. The CPU cooler is advertised to be able to cool modern CPUs, in fact Noctua has a demo video where the NHP1 cools an Intel Core i9-11900K which is running Prime95 at more than 3.6 GHz. Of course, keep in mind that this CPU is running at 3.6 GHz, which is the base frequency for that model, and overclocking with this CPU and with the CPU cooler should not be attempted. In addition to the NHP1 CPU cooler, Noctua has also released the LSPWM, a fan which is made to work with the new passive CPU cooler, however, it is optional and recommended for usage only if you're looking for added cooling on your CPU. The LSPWM is a 120mm fan which is designed to be as silent as possible, and Noctua advertises this fan as having a maximum noise output of just 12 decibels. We continue with NVIDIA and a report which states that the company is slowing down its production for the RTX 20 series graphics cards, and it is doing so to focus its production and resources into the manufacturing of the RTX 30 series graphics cards. Now obviously this isn't something new to the scene or something that we did not see coming one way or another. This might be an effort to create more stocks for the RTX 30 series graphics cards and thus lower the demand, however the main issue right now with both the RTX 30 series and the RTX 20 series is the price. Many times these graphics cards are being sold for 3 to 4 times their original price. Only time will tell how this move will affect the market if it will at all. What we know for sure is that at this time buying a graphics card even used is pretty hard. And now we have Microsoft news and it appears that Windows 10 has its days numbered. Not only that, but this means that Windows 11 is approaching as a final product. In a recent post on their support page, Microsoft has announced that Windows 10 will have its support ended by around October 2025. 14 of October to be exact. As sudden as this might look, chances are that Windows 11, or whatever it's going to be called, will be heavily based on the Windows 10 platform. All I can say about this is that while a lot of people pushed back the Windows 10 operating system and clinked to Windows 7, which was a great operating system, by today Windows 10 is a very good operating system, even though we must jump through hoops to disable certain functions that are, say, not needed. And finally, we have EK Waterblocks, which is launching the new EK Quantum Vector Master Waterblocks for the Aorus Master AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT and the 6900 XT graphics cards. These Waterblocks are the second generation of the EK Quantum Vector series and use an open split flow cooling design which offers a low hydraulic flow restriction and thus can be used with lower pumps and lower the overall noise while maintaining a good cooling performance. As is the case with many EK Waterblock products, the base of these Waterblocks is made from solid nickel plated copper while the top of the block can be either a crystal clear acrylic panel or a solid black panel. And if you are wondering about the backplate, well, it is an optional extra for these Waterblocks and it is available for purchase in two variants, a nickel plated variant or a solid black one. If the Waterblocks pricing ranges from 164 US dollars or euros, then the backplate prices ranges from 42.90 US dollars or euros for the all black model or 49.90 US dollars or euros for the nickel plated model. And this is the end of the episode number 35th of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.